Hi. Hi. Why are we having tea here? I don't know, man. It's rough. Guys, we are forced to drink this. Yeah. I mean, I'm... do you want me to review your tea? Welcome to the beautiful world of aquascaping. Guys, we're here in the Green Aqua Gallery with Peter Rosco, Amateur Aquatics. Hi. And Yuri Suchayevs, professional aquascaper, YouTuber, friend. For the first time in Green Aqua YouTube history, we don't have a topic. I just wanted to talk about what you see here at Green Aqua and maybe you can give our viewers some insights into plants, fish, hardscape, aquarium building in general. All right, so this is the 450 liter tank, the contest tank. first thought was, man, these roots here, Raineki Mini, it must be a nightmare trimming them. So Balash, how often you do the job? It's like crazy. For every four days, we need to trim those roots every four days. Actually, super cool to see the plants growing out of the water. I'm not sure that we want to show this, but you guys are going to have a video about this in a couple of weeks. So you have to blur everything. We'll talk about it in <laughs> epical depth. No camera. This is dry start method. And to tell you honestly, I'm not even sure that I know when to fill it up. The problem with Utricularia is it doesn't really produce any roots. Just have the runners just very, very tiny, tiny roots. So what you want, you want actual utricularia growth like right underneath the soil. You have to plant it really deep and I would give it like at least like four or six weeks of dry start time. So what you're saying is deep and dry. You just said this. <laughs> I, I think it's important when you do a dry start you keep it closed for the humidity. No, they told me that you don't, you're not supposed to do that. You need preparation because the whole thing will be dumpy. You will have all kinds of fungus. We open this up for five minutes every day and we have CO2 injection. You have such a big slope, the CO2 will be right there and the plants up there are not going to benefit from it. I'm with Tom Barr on this one and he told me that you have to imagine CO2 like the clouds in the sky. It depends a lot on how you measure it. If you measure it on the right side of the tank, you will get different readings than on the left side of the tank. Yeah, that's why it's a good idea if you have a drop checker. Tommy, can you help us please? Tommy needs to get his offensive shirt out first. No, it's not the offensive one today. This is the most beautiful thing ever. Come on. Okay. Not Tommy, well, I wasn't prepared the shirt. For making videos today. So. <laughs> you know I'm going to mess this up. Yeah, I know. That's really so. The more you know, the less scientific you want to be. Did you experience that? At the beginning, I was measuring water parameters, I was talking about temperature, I was talking about KH. I, I never even said KH, the word KH, for years now. Well, that means I should know everything because I just throw water into a tank and glue stuff and then... That's it. I'm done. It's gonna be dark green. It, it's gonna stay like this, that's my guess. In one hour, we're gonna come back and see that. Drop a comment below with what the forfeit one of these has to do with whoever gets it wrong. Yeah. Forfeit. That's a real English word. The loser. Then what punishment do you have to get? If I said punishment, I know you probably enjoy that a little bit, but you know. I think Philippe's tank is like a bottle of wine. The older the tank gets, the more it matures, the nicer it gets. That's my impression. That's how Philippe is. Is there any more words to say? So I'm happy I got free. Guys, this is Logan Brando, and he's doing all the heavy work for Yuris's channel. If you want to praise the editing that uh, goes on on that channel, is this guy. And man, it's huge congrats because you're doing an amazing job there. We're trying to create things and we're trying to make beautiful aquariums because like as Mr. Amano said, creating nature is the ultimate luxury. I don't think that he meant money by that. I think the nicest things in the world are for free. The air you can breathe, the nature that you can enjoy. My first tank. Yeah.
I would like to say it's beautiful, but it's not. <laughs> Why did you start it? Just got lost, found your shop. No, um, I grew up with fish tanks, you know. I came in looking for a filter, I think, and then you see this. That's, that's literally the first time I found aquascaping. Stay up all night singing songs on the terrace. We didn't mind sitting out in the cold. Peter's living 20 minutes from Green Aqua. Some people are coming here from India, Brazil, Japan, Patagonia. What? Before we move on, I have to say this tank is in a such nice condition. All the plants, super pristine. The leaves, the slow growing plants like the Bucifolandra, the Anubias, they are spotless clean. Not a single green algae dot, like nothing. And why do you think that is? I don't know, green aqua special juice? No, absolutely not. So people ask us, how can you keep your tank so clean, your water so seamless? We have good technology behind the tank. We have CO2 injection. We have strong filtration. We're using reverse osmosis water to have soft water for the plants and good quality soils. I think the same people who are commenting don't want to do water changes. You know, I'm one of them. I, I don't do a water change every week. You know, you like, don't. No, I, I do. What did I tell you? Ah, come on. You are right with the weekly water changes. This is something I recommend everyone to do. But I know you, you like your situation. I'm in this situation very often myself. And I don't do the water changes myself religiously every week. You do the 100, okay, you get the result that you want. But someone maybe is happy with a little bit less and that requires a lot less work. How long does it take for you to change the water? Half a day. So your system is just wrong. You sold me it. <laughs> we don't want people to leave the hobby because this is a beautiful hobby and we want them to enjoy the views. And they will just go away because they don't do the water changes. And this is why I'm so religious about this. When was the last time you did a water change in one of these, Balash? In one of which ones? Any one of these. And when I mean by like that, I mean yourself. Night? He did it once on camera. He doesn't always do it, but when he does, then he makes sure it's on camera. What happened here is that I took out all the stem plants because of maintenance issues. When people come into Green Aqua, I want them to see the all sides of this tank. Is this a good idea? I love it. I love the new look of the tank. What would they I say? I Because well. I didn't consult with him before I did this and I feel bad. I'm gonna make a picture and I'm gonna send it to Dave right now. What do you think about uh, Chris Lukop's tank? I didn't know Chris is caping. I think it's one of the best nano tanks, actually. It looks really nice. What's that? <laughs> what was that? I was just giving, I was just tea, tea bagging you. I have to leave. Oh, all right. So it was nice having you here. Trivia. Peter has left. Yeah. Finally. Finally. I got the answer back from Dave Chow. Oh, you got He says, sure, always make something new and fresh. I told you, he's so nice. We were at Adam's gallery with Dave. I did not film, I did not drink, I did not do anything, just watch Dave you work. You told me, you told It's me. like I sat down and I was the only audience there in, in the gallery. You got your private show? Oh yeah, not like that. <laughs> Hello, Dave. <laughs> Hello. Welcome to the beautiful world of aquascaping. I would expect this if I would call Green Aqua. Do you have any suggestions to us? Any new plans from Tropica? Do you have the new limited range by any chance? No, we don't. You don't? Why? Because I didn't know it existed. It does. Okay. Who's making the plant orders? Tommy. Tommy! How can we help beginners choose aquarium plants? I think the term low tech is misleading. Low energy is 
the better one to choose. Okay. Because I can have a high-tech tank, but with easy plants, and uh, you know, like have a low energy level, right. which is super easy and a beginner friendly. Medium plants, chances are 50% that they would thrive without CO2. If you don't want the pressurized CO2 system, you want to add some liquid carbon additives that would also profit your plants a little bit because they can uptake have, carbon. I have it. a different opinion on this. I don't know, but I definitely have the feedback from many, many customers. If you have liquid carbon additives in your tanks, they could see a little bit better plant growth. Well, it might help a little but not substantially. I've been reading actually a scientific article on this. Okay. And uh, you know, to make like a significant increase in carbon in water that you can measure, you have to put in so much liquid carbon products that it will become a completely unfriendly environment for the fish and the plants. You try to kill algae or kind of inhibit algae with the liquid carbon thing. It does help in the first moment but over a longer period of time, it will also slow down the plant growth, which again will cause algae growth. So you're adding more of the liquid carbon, which is again, slows so down like the never plant. Ending story. Never it's ending story. Never ending story, it's like a drug addiction. We will stop maintenance from tomorrow and if we'll get edgy because of you in like two weeks, <laughs> we'll call him. He's our new maintenance guy. Oh, he's, he's the new maintenance guy at Green Aqua, yes. Guys, so you come and maintain all the all guys, the. You will be bankrupt, do you know how expensive I am? <laughs> Yeah, he's German. <laughs> or you could use something, I mean, little plug here for Tropica, the System 60, where you oh, have... Oh, we a, use that, we love that. You have the aerosol bottle, you just press it once, you fill up the kind of, what is it, the diffuser, and this, the CO2 dissolves slowly. It is super cheap, it's beginner friendly, you can try using CO2 with this, okay. and if you see the benefit of it, then you can upgrade to a pressurized system. What do you do about chilling the water if you don't have like a professional chiller or you don't have air conditioning in the room? There is this peak time around 12 or 2 p.m., something like this. So I would try to avoid having the lights on during this time. So maybe give the tank some light early in the morning and late in the evening. So you don't have, when it's the hottest outside and maybe in the room as well, having additional lights on over the tank. Okay, uh, we have one more thing to do. The drop checker color. I can see from here, it hasn't changed. It's green. Let's Come check, on. let's it's... check. I would say that it's green. There is no little green. It's a little bit green. No. I think you should drink some aquarium water. No. Aquarium tasting, yeah. I want to taste our Tenantera now. I will taste our Tenantera as a punishment. Do you want to try something? Yeah, I wanted to try the Reineke Mini as well. You made me curious. Have it. Have a bite. <laughs> Cortes of Green Aqua. I, I wouldn't say it's sweet, you know, like iceberg uh, salad. It's a good taste. I highly recommend it. Yeah, well, you know what to do with the trimmings. Yuris, thanks so much for being here. It's been a pleasure. And as I expected, you came up with some new ideas that, that I really loved. So thanks again for being here and thanks for you guys for watching us and subscribe to the Green Aqua YouTube channel. Don't forget to follow Yuri Suchayevs. You will, you will find his channel in the description below. And uh, until next week, goodbye. Cheerio. Keep on scaping. <laughs>